Three months ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do in this video. So welcome to the 49th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. But before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just wanna remind you that we are trying to buy Buy a penthouse at the Diamond Casino Resort next. And it's going to come in at $4,100,000. And currently right now, I'm sitting at $3,213,000. So hopefully we can purchase this penthouse pretty soon. But how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to collect buried stashes on the island of Cayo Perico. Now, we haven't landed on this wheel spin before. I'll explain to you how this is going to work once we get there. All right, so right now I am on the wheel of making money. So what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are okay. We are going to have to do the doomsday heist or one of the doomsday heists in this episode. And this could be a really, really good wheel spin because I'm recording this during the event week of the doomsday scenario being double money and RP. And this is such a good wheel spin that we have to forfeit fit our next wheel spin. All right, so I've pulled up the wheel of one to three, and this is going to determine what act we're going to do. We're not just going to do the doomsday scenario. We're still going to play by the rules and spin the wheel. And I don't know, let's just see what act we're actually going to have to do. And unfortunately, we are not doing the doomsday scenario. We are going to have to do act one, the data breaches doomsday heist. All right, so we have to do act one of the doomsday heist. But before I do that, I need to head over to Cayo Perico and search out buried stashes. So let me go over to my Kasatka to kind of explain how this is going to work. All right, so I've made it over to my Kasatka and I'm at my Kasatka because we actually need to make it over to the Cayo Perico Island. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to have to set up the Cayo Perico heist or at least pay the $100,000 setup cost for the Cayo Perico heist. And we can actually afford to do this. So I'm doing that right now. And in order to actually get the buried stashes, I'm going to have to go to Cayo Perico off the Gather Intel mission. I know you're probably thinking, oh, this is a wheel of quick cash and you're spending like $100,000 just to get $25,000. Yeah, I'm going to have to pay this $100,000 anyways just to do the Cayo Perico heist like whenever we land on it again for the wheel of making money. So when we land on it again on the wheel of making money, we don't have to pay it because we've already paid for it now. So we were going to have to pay this anyways, but let's do the Gather Intel mission or at least do enough of it so we can actually get the buried stashes. All right, so so I've made it over to Cayo Perico and I've made it over to a spot on the map that has this icon, a big circle with a big question mark right in the middle of it. And this is where the buried stash is going to be. And there's two of them on the map. I got a little lucky. They're both right by the airstrip. There's one here and then there's one on the other side. So yeah, we're going to search these two locations and try to find the buried stashes. And in order to do that, once we get inside the circle, we can pull out this metal detector that I picked up at some point. I don't remember when to be honest but yeah i picked it up and yeah we use this metal detector to try to find where the buried stash is so let me see if i can find where this is all right i found the first buried stash this was actually probably the easiest one i've ever found it was just a big hump right on the beach but yeah there we go and then we got some cash we got twenty five thousand dollars off of that buried stash we still have one more buried stash we need to go check out all right i found the second buried stash location it's gonna be right here so let's dig it up and once again we collected twenty five thousand dollars so in total, we made $50,000 off collecting buried stashes. And we already paid for the setup cost of the Kyle Brico heist. So like a net loss of $50,000, but we got some stuff down. Right, but now we need to get into starting up act one of the doomsday heist. So let me get all the prep work done. And then I'll see you when we're actually ready to do our first setup. All right, so we completed all the prep work and we're jumping into our first setup right here, which is going to be the setup dead courier. So we have to get get into the ambulance and drive all the way somewhere. I don't even know where I'm going. Uh, whatever. Oh uh, yeah, the LS County coroners. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Now this might be an unpopular opinion. I actually think for act one, this is the most annoying setup. And I'm saying this is a more annoying setup over server farm. I don't know. A lot of people think server farm is one of the hardest missions in the game. I don't know why. 
why I usually don't have a lot of issues with server farm. This one, on the other hand, I do have problems with. It's buggy. It's buggy. Every time we get into the helicopter, it's just very annoying to lose the cops. But hopefully we don't have that issue again today because honestly, I don't want to deal with that today. Anyways, I've made it to the coroner's office, so let's walk on in. All right, so we're inside coroner's office and we need to go to the cold storage and, you know, check out some bodies, I guess. I don't know. We're looking for a hard drive, essentially. We have to check these bodies for the hard drive. And I searched all the bodies and we didn't find a single thing. Awesome. All right, so we have to go... Hey, why are you shooting at me? Hey, don't shoot me. Stop, 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 stop. I didn't do anything wrong. I actually ran into a guy and he got pissed. So yeah, I was going to explain how um you have like an option to like do this stealthy. I don't know. It's kind of pointless to do this stealthy or like there's no incentive to it at least because you're going to get caught by the guards no matter what. All right, but anyways, the hard drive is on the top floor. It's just like sitting in an office somewhere. So I have to go all the way up there. Might have been honestly a little beneficial to actually take out these guys like now because like I have to go all the way back down so when i go back down i don't have to take out as many people right, there we go we just downloaded some data i guess i don't know we're just getting data for avon and well we can trust avon right ha 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 hey don't shoot me i can't trust you god the assault shotgun so nice i am so happy i finally got the assault shotgun but i'm not happy i just fell down the steps like that oh my teammate died too great i don't know why i always feel like my teammates died during whatever they're doing i have no idea what they're doing I felt bad for him, so I decided to die also. That's what I did. That's what I did. It's exactly what happened. All right, I guess attempt number two for this. Um, We've already done the hard stuff. We just have to make our way down the steps again, and then we can leave. All right, there we go. We're about to make it out of the coroner's office. All right, so now we're outside, and we need to regroup at the Savage, which that probably means that I have to help out my teammate. Oh, I forgot to mention a few things. The teammate that I'm playing with is a level 18. Sick. And then also, I'm doing all the setups on the lowest difficulty, which is going to be a normal difficulty and then the finale is going to be on hard difficulty so we can get more money all right so i've made it over to where the savages are supposed to be and i don't know what happens here like my teammates like can never kill everyone or something like oh my god okay that's why <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Why did I spawn here? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not good. This is horrible. I was right there where I needed to go. Now I'm all the way back here. I'm gonna have to like steal a car. Luckily, there's another car over here. But my gosh. Okay, so my teammate is now inside the savage. Oh, and he committed. Dude, how? I don't even know how that happened. Dude, literally the moment I got there, I died. So I guess that part is a little difficult, even though it probably shouldn't be. I don't know. I don't know. I have never done that before. I've never done the setup as like a guest. All right, so I've made it back here. I'll be a little bit more careful this time. I only mean a little bit more careful. Why did you blow up that car? This car's pointless. Um, I'm flying. I don't know what you did last time, but it didn't work. Now, the annoying part about this setup is the fact that for some reason in this helicopter, we just can't lose the cops. It gets weird. Hopefully, that's not an issue this time around, but we'll see. So, yeah, it says we're supposed to lose the cops, and, like, I usually am, like, never near cops. I have no idea why. It's just so bugged. I mean, last time I did this setup, people commented saying, oh, it's because because your teammate's shooting. I, they're clearly not shooting. And like right now I am over top of a mountain and there's like no cop in sight. Like I can prove it. Yeah, there's literally no cops in sight. Like I shouldn't be dealing with this. The way I figured out how to get around it is to like get out and then get back in. And then like that'll actually work kind of, which is so stupid. So yeah, I'm going to get out. Oh, my teammate jumped out, but yeah, okay, get out, get back in. There we go. It literally like that. See, the, now we're not in sight anymore. Oh wait, my teammate just got in though. And now we're in sight. Huh? Maybe it's because my teammate's in. I don't know. It's the most frustrating thing. All right, I'm gonna have to message him to get out. <laughs> I literally am. This is so stupid. All right, I just messaged him to get out. Oh my God, there's literally a car right there that you can drive. Wow, that was nice. All right. No, idiot. No, get out. I told you to get out. Okay, he's out now, but he's about to die. I'm gonna have to save him low key real quick. Okay, he died. Awesome. See, this is, uh, it's just so dumb. I hate how this is a thing for the setup. I don't even know if this is like on purpose. Like this could be a glitch or something. I don't know. Like, like I said, I've never been like the other position during the setup. So I don't know what it specifically entails, but I don't know. I'm just gonna get out. I'm gonna steal a cop core. Then I'm gonna try to lose the cops that way. Yeah, right now I'm out of sight. It's when I'm with my teammate and my teammate can actually you know get into his own cop car and whatever i'll get into mine i'll try to lose the cops that way oh no <laughs> dude i thought i could make it across there oh i lost the cops though <laughs> 
<laughs> Luckily, I'm not too far away. You can see the flare is going off right there. I thought I could make it across the little creek right there. River. That's a small river. I thought I could make it across the river. I just no. Okay, my teammate has made it to the savage. Are cops on him? Wait, what? Setup failed. Mission over. I need a little more information than mission failed. Why? This setup is so broken. Like, in theory, it should be pretty easy. Once you get to this point, it's so broken. I don't understand why. I have to let the teammate get into the savage. And then after that, we have to try to lose the cops. But I can't lose the cops unless if I'm by myself. It's weird. All right, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm just going to park the savage and then I'm going to try to lose the cops on my own. The only issue is my teammate has already died and I don't really trust my teammate, this low level teammate, to survive. If he wants to fly the savage, that's fine with me. I just need to lose the cops. Yeah. Oh my God. All the cops are literally all around my teammate right now. Uh, I just have a feeling my teammate's going to die. Okay. I literally lost the cops, but I can quite literally see everyone surround my teammate, which sucks. If he can lose the cops, then that'd be great. Go lose the cops. And he retracted the wheels. He doesn't know how to put the wheels back on. Just get out. Just get out at this point. <sighs> oh my God. Why? Why? Just why? All right. I told him to get out. This is stupid. No, no, that's not how you get out. No, that's not how you get out. I'm trying to yank him out the driver's seat. Yeah. Okay. I got him. All right. I'm just going to deliver the savage. Please let this be good enough. He died. Why are you so stupid? I don't know what else to say. I mean, let me guess. He left or the recovery failed, quote unquote, which means he's going to leave. I guarantee it. Yeah. This setup is so bad. Why? Why? Why do you do this during this setup? It makes no logical sense. There are a bunch of morons that coded this in. All right, here we go. We're doing this setup once again, and I am actually on the other team. I'm on the recovery team. I talked about how I've never done this before. Or, um, yeah, enough complaining about it. We are actually going to do it. All right, we have to get to a scouting point, which is going to be over here. What are we doing? Wait for the helicopter to get closer. What helicopter? Oh, oh, there's a helicopter in the distance. I got it. Okay. All right, now I'm supposed to follow the helicopter, even though I already know where it's going to land because, you know, I'm a smart, intelligent person. So I'm just going to beat the helicopter to its point. And I think there's more people on the ground. Where are you going, though? What? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I don't know why the helicopter's going over here. What was like a decoy or something. I don't know. I've never done this before. Oh, oh, there's actually more that's involved with this setup than what I thought. I drove too close. I think I pissed people off. That's not good. So yeah, and I have to take out a few people. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, there's a lot of people that to take out. I don't know if it was like incredibly possible to do it stealthy, but if it is, then I wish I had done it stealthy. I grabbed the intel. Now I need to steal the savage. All right, but yeah, we need to get to Ellis County Coroners. Wait, is my teammate actually in the building? I don't know. Yeah, I see the ambulance. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna chill out right here. I mean, I didn't think that was awful. Probably could have been a little easier than I made it out to be, but oh well. Five minutes later. Okay, I've been sitting here, I don't even know at this point. Uh, I think over five minutes. I've just been chilling. I don't know what my teammate's doing inside. Yeah, the paramedic team is not that complicated, in my opinion. I don't know why it's taking this guy so long. Oh, good. The guy died. Wow, jeez. The funny thing is, I have someone lined up to take this guy's spot for the next setup because this is stupid. Yeah, a few episodes back, I played like a guy in an adversary mode and he was like, oh, Dr. Crush, I'm a huge fan, blah, 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 blah. Well, he found out that I was doing a setup and he's currently spectating right now. And after this, I'm getting him in here. This is getting ridiculous. Like, we're not even at the stupid part about this setup and this guy can't even handle the inside. This is just dumb. Like, how? How? It's not difficult. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, we're doing this for level 43 right now, which level 43, you're like, all right, this guy's been playing the game for a little bit. He shouldn't have an issue. But the problem is, this guy's having a major issue, especially according to the guy that's spectating us right now. <laughs> He's apparently helping him too. He's like helping him while spectating. I mean, like shout out to that guy, but he's a lost cause. This guy's a lost cause at this point. Oh, what happened here? Oh, you died. Good Lord. All right. Yeah, now we're done. I'm not doing this with this idiot. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. This is quite embarrassing. If you cannot complete that part, or if it takes you that long to try to complete that part, no, no, you do not deserve another opportunity. You should be bright red embarrassed at yourself. How? Like, that's probably really harsh of me to say, but like, I'd be 
be lying if I were to say anything else. It's not good. That's not good at all. All right, here we go. Attempt number three with a crew. Yeah, the guy I was talking to, he's now in. I'm expecting we're going to complete this first attempt. I can't deal with stupid people. This setup is stupid. I can't deal with stupid people. So I need a smart, intelligent person to go along with me. All right, so yeah, you pretty much get the gist of how this setup is going to work. So I'll see you when we're trying to lose the cops at that point. Yeah, I'm not the one flying this time. It's my teammate. And yeah, we are not inside of the cops. So maybe the paramedic team should not be the pilot. But, you know, when I complete the paramedic task like so quickly and I'm allowed to drive the Savage, then I don't think we should be penalized for that. Or you force me to be the passenger, you know? All right, I lost the cops and my teammate. Yeah, and all we have to do is just deliver the Savage. Yeah, okay. So that's what it is. Okay, we're, we're learning. We're learning, okay? Is it still stupid? Yes, but the recovery team has to be the pilot if you want to lose the cops, at least when you're together. And why would you look at that? First attempt, my first setup pass screened and it's been, and how long I've been recording? Almost two hours. Why am I saying that out loud? First set up pass screen and I've been recording for two hours. That's embarrassing. Let's head over to the next setup. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the next setup right here. We're doing the signal intercept setup. And essentially what we need to do is we need to go and make our way towards a deluxo. Yeah, this one can be an annoying setup too. Not as annoying as last one though. That last one just so stupid. Stupid. All right, so here's a deluxe. So we need to get into the deluxe. And then we need to go find some vans. All right, so yeah, we need to go to four different targets right here. And we have essentially a total of 20 minutes in order to do all these hacks. But I think with a smart teammate, it shouldn't take too long. Like I've had it go all the way down. I think the last time I did this, I think we had like three minutes to spare, something like that, which is not great. This isn't that difficult of a setup, in my opinion. All right, but here's a van I need to hack. And usually I just like to stick to the side of this van because if you get behind it, then they'll start shooting you and we don't like vans shooting at me. You know, I like shooting at vans and you'll see why. All right, there we go. And then we just go that and we'll bam, dead. And we need to go to three more targets. All right, there we go. Another van hacked and another van taken out. All right, so we have one more van to go, but my teammate's closer. So I'm already gonna head towards the water where we're gonna have to do our next hack that we have to do. All right, so my teammate got the final hack and here is the next target that we have to go to. I went like right next to it, which is, very fortunate. So yeah, we need to start hacking this. All right, there we go. Done there. I have one more hack I am going to do. All right, there we go. Another target hacked and another target dead. All right, so we've all made it to LSIA where we have to meet to go take out this helicopter. Oh my God, I called this a helicopter. Oh my God, please roast me in the comment section. We need to kill this plane. Oh my God, we don't need to kill it yet. We need to hack it. So yeah, let's hack it. Then we'll take out this plane and we'll be done after that. All right, there we go. We have hacked this target and well, we need to take out the target and well my teammate is a step ahead of me on that and now she needs to deliver the luxo to the drop off and we should be good to go and why would you look at that another setup pass just a beautiful beautiful sight to see we have one more setup to go before we can jump into the finale so let's jump into the next setup which is going to be server farm all right here we go we're jumping into our final setup right here which is going to be the server farm setup i still have the teammate that you know is smart intelligent you know all the good stuff oh my god he's even doing a little dance he even know i just called him smart and intelligent but i mean you can dance all you want as long as you can be serious when it comes to actually completing this heist and we do it pretty quickly i mean i can't get mad at someone dancing like that go ahead dance away all right so we need to land on the helipad which is going to be right here oh yeah this is the setup that i was talking about that a lot of people think is difficult which i usually never have it too big of issues with and i don't expect me what? What happened? Okay, I think that's Cap. I don't think he really alerted a security guard. He was right next to me. I, I blame that on the game. Yeah, he just messaged me. He's like, well, okay. Like, he doesn't even know what happened. That was just a little screwed up. Like, I'm trying to say this is like an easy setup and the game's trying to be like, oh no, it's actually kind of hard. Look, look at what your teammate did, even though he didn't do anything. He clearly knows that he didn't do anything because why? He's a smart, intelligent person. All right, so now we need to like move our way forward, like stealthy. I need to take out this camera right here. Yeah, nice. Good shot. He take out that guy and you take out these two gentlemen right there very nice all right, there we go. Both of those guys have been taken out. And then we need to go over to the rear entrance right here. All right, so now someone's about to walk out that apparently has something that we need. I don't know. So just take out that guy. And oh, my teammate. That was so synchronized. I mean, I wasn't even trying to do that. But whatever. We're going to go down and get the access codes. Very nice. And now we need to get to the server farm entrance. Now, I will say this setup involves like a lot of finesse. You, know, you got to do the smart. You can't be stupid during this. But I mean, like, I don't know. I just never really have an issue. All right, so we're going to go down here. 
here. We're still undercover right now. But I mean, at some point, we are going to get our cover blown just on purpose. Like, it's going to force us to have our cover blown no matter what. But it's all right. All right. So we need to hack a server. Here's a server right here. This hack is a little interesting. It's just kind of like a blind guessing game. You have to like put the boxes on the left with the boxes on the right in like a certain pattern. Then you have to like check all the connections and only one box was like right. So then I have to go and retest all of them. All right. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, there we go. That one's just a bunch of trial and error. You just got to pay attention to what you've tried before. All right. So I'm at another hack. Um, Can I get this one first attempt, please? Oh, oh my God. I actually did. Whoa, dude. It's so satisfying when you get a first attempt. There's so many possibilities that you could do and you just guess the right combination. It's just a good feeling. Uh oh. Okay, well, that's my fault. That's on me. Sorry, that's on me. That one was on me. I was a little too nonchalant right there. Oh, well, I think my teammate can handle it, and I'll go help him out. I think he still has one more hack he needs to do. Completely fine with me. I screwed up. I'll do an extra hack for my troubles. Dude, no one's really shooting at me either. Like, I'm just sprinting through the server farm, and yeah, no one's really going after me. All right, there we go. I finally got that hack. So now we need to head to the exit. Um, Now there's noose agents in here, but I mean, like, what are the noose going to do? Like, shoot me? Ha, ha. No, I am just going to act like I'm Tyreek Hill. Just run right past everyone. And yeah, I mean, this is how server form works. You just run right past everyone because there's like so many nooks and crannies in here that who really can shoot you up until like this point. And there's only one person. Oh, thought there'd be a little more than that. Oh, there's another guy. Just smack him in the face for his attempts. All right, so we've made it to the exit and we just need to go on up. All right, so now we need to get to the roof, but there's a ton of like people out here. Oh right, yeah, I'm just kind of running right through this. I mean, I'm getting shot, but like I am just... no. No, no, no. One of the most annoying things about this game when you try to eat snacks, but you accidentally just pull up your phone. Oh my God, I actually spawned like right next to the Akula. That might have been worth it. These helicopters are pissing me off. Oh, my teammate died. Yeah, the helicopters are being a little annoying. It's okay. I I'm still not convinced that this setup is that hard. No, that's not the gun I wanted. Good thing I didn't shoot that straight into the ground. Gosh, I try to eat snacks and just pull up a phone. Try to switch to a gun and pull out a homing missile. Oh, speaking of homing missiles, I probably should. Ah, my teammates ahead of me on that one. Yeah, just... Well, bam. Yeah, I mean, that's what was screwing us up last time. Just all the helicopters. All right, so we've made it to the Akula. I'm going to get into the driver's seat. All right, and now all we have to do is just lose the cops, and we should be good to go. And this is an actual setup where it's pretty easy to lose the cops, unlike that first setup. All right, so I've made it to the location, and there we go. Setup passed. Let's move on to the finale. All right, so we're here on the finale screen, and my teammate has been here ever since the beginning, so I'm going to give him an extra 10% more as a thank you, because my my goodness, the first setup was so incredibly frustrating until he just showed up. Oh my god, bro, he said 15 will be fine. Dude, I feel like I need to. Yeah, I'm giving you 25%. You're taking it. Take the money. <laughs> just, <laughs> he drives a hard bargain. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the art of negotiating right there. All right, here we go. Let's do the data breaches finale. All right, so we made it to the IA facility. Um, Yeah, we need to take out a bunch of enemies before we can actually walk on in. All right, so all we have to do is pretty much just take out a bunch of people. That's all this heist is. It's just a ton of people, and they're actually pretty accurate. Okay, as I said earlier, the finale is on hard. So, yeah, literally all we have to do is just push forward, shoot a bunch of people. Yeah, I mean, as both of us being, like, decently high levels, like, both of us are level 90s, like, this shouldn't be an issue. And we both, well, at least I have full snacks. No, no, dude, game, game, game. Do you hear what I'm doing? Do you hear what I'm doing? Please define what I'm doing. Okay, if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm pressing every button on my freaking controller. I can't move. I need an apology. I need it written with a piece of paper and a pen. This is quite embarrassing. Quite embarrassing. Yeah, I have to literally exit out my game and go back in. That's so stupid. All right, the most unnecessary second attempt for this heist. I mean, it's like, why? Like, why am I still here? You know, like, why am I doing this again? It makes no sense. All right, so we're back here. Once again, I have to take out a bunch of people. All right, yeah, as I said before, just shoot a bunch of people, move forward you get the drill not really much to say here just pew 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 i think right before i died we killed right around 30 people like in total i think we probably have to kill right around like 70 something like that oh wait it might even be more than that hold on it might actually be more than that i don't know point is it's a lot of people okay okay keep moving forward keep moving forward i'm kind of like speed running through this low key i'm not trying to but it's just happening it just keep going i mean i feel like i'm going so fast through this all right we need to take out more enemies that are just down here 
No. No, I don't like that. I don't like that because that guy was deadly accurate for a split second. I was definitely a little reckless, but no guy was that deadly accurate until that point. All right, let's try this again. At least we hit a checkpoint. So I think all we have to do is go downstairs and then kill those remaining people. Now oh, my teammates died. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what is up with this bottom room. The bottom room is just cursed, I guess. I don't know. All right, there we go. Everyone's been taken out. We need to go to the war room. We need to take out even more people. All right, so now we're in a turret. We're sitting in a turret. We have to kill a bunch of people like that guy right there oh yeah there's just like a bunch of enemies that are just trying to attack all right so now everyone's about to flee oh you're trying to run away oh that's so cute oh my god dude how is he still alive dude dude okay i finally got him that was a little embarrassing low key all right there we go we took out everyone and then we have to sit through a cutscene, but whatever all right and there we go heist passed all right so our actual earnings was one million two hundred eighteen thousand dollars i got 75 percent of that and that gives us nine hundred and fourteen thousand dollars all right so after that heist i'm now at four million and thirty two thousand dollars which is going to be sixty eight thousand dollars short of what we need to get for the penthouse and we haven't run into this issue yet this season but i did say this early on and i did this last season if we got like within a hundred thousand dollars i just think it's so pointless to have a full episode dedicated to only making at least sixty eight thousand dollars so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to just earn that sixty eight thousand dollars just really quick off camera and then we can actually purchase the penthouse this episode and the next episode we'll be able to start on a clean slate and spin the wheel of businesses and see what business we're gonna buy next so let me quickly make sixty eight thousand dollars all right so now i'm sitting at four million one hundred and one thousand dollars just over the amount i need so let's go over and purchase our new penthouse so we're gonna design our own penthouse and what i want to do is we're gonna get a lounge area we're gonna get a spa because we don't like a good spa and then we're gonna get a bar and party hub i'm gonna get a garage yeah that's all we're gonna get because that's all i really care about so let's purchase now and there we go we only have one thousand and a hundred and ninety seven dollars left in our account. All right, so we're in our new penthouse and we actually get a cutscene for this penthouse. And oh, hey, hey, Miss Baker. Wow, good to see you. And Tom, wow, good to see you too. Oh my God goodness what are you doing well that was an interesting interaction with mr chang <laughs> all right so here is our penthouse this is like the main area and then like oh look at my beautiful bedroom um uh, miss baker just said she'll be in touch with us mm -hmm. i'm sure you will no but there's like a set of missions that we can do after buying the penthouse and we get a first time bonus for doing it so i'm going to add those missions to the wheel of making money for a one-time wheel spin all right so then we can go over here there's a lot of stuff i didn't buy oh i can actually still use this room oh okay i don't even know what that room is really for uh there's a room i can't use because it's kind of pointless another room that's a media room pointless oh, there's a private dealer i mean if i want to go gamble i can go downstairs oh a toilet okay that's good gonna need that in here there was a bar slash party area that i purchased i mean like come on this looks fantastic but then my favorite part the spa <laughs> There's just nothing like this in GTA. Like, come on. I can come in here after a long, hard day of just doing stupid setups for Act 1 of the Doomsday Heist. I can just come here and just relax in my hot tub. Like, come on. All right, but this is our penthouse. Beautiful, beautiful penthouse. But next episode, we are going to spin the wheel of businesses to see what business I am going to have to buy next. Make sure you check out this video right here. If you want to see if low levels can actually carry me during a heist in GTA Online.